Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. So say the second entry is 200 on a trade. So do you set your full buy, which may only be, well, depending, depending, depending what, the, what, what the trade is. Um, yeah. Depending what the trade is. Like if it's, if it's a stock like Tesla, uh, well, number one, I'm always going to probably go, not probably, I'm pretty much all the time going to go at the whole number. Um, so even if, so let's say for example, Let's just say uh, the natural pivot is like uh, like th this morning was three what was it three two thirty three twenty seven right whatever the hell it was right I'm always going to go with the whole number because that's where the that's where always the liquidity is so I'm always going to be hitting the whole the whole number because that's you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna pretty much get filled on everything that you want um, so re re depending on the depending on the side of the trade. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I personally always do. Yeah, I always personally do. Absolutely. Like, so for example, uh, Tesla, NVIDIA, Amazon. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go with the whole number. I, pretty much every trade, I'm going to go with the whole number. It's very rare. It's very rare that I'm going to go um, before the whole number. It's just, it's just, I, I'll sacrifice sometimes 40, 50 cents on the entry uh, just to make sure, number one, that the, uh, um, Number one, that uh, there's extra buyers or extra sellers in that direction, but that's where the liquidity is. So for example, like you see right now, Tesla's trading 2750s, 2760s, right? You're not gonna get any liquidity. You would have to sit there. You'd have to literally sit there and accumulate stock. And that's not, that's not what I do. Um, so I, yeah, I, I enter, I enter, uh, I enter, I enter on the whole numbers, yeah. Um, if it's a, if it's a fast stock, th that's the only, that's the only, there's a couple, there's a couple of, uh, exceptions, right? There's a couple of uh, exceptions. Um, if it's a fast market, meaning that there's some sort of news, um, there's some sort of news in that stock, there's some, something just happened, right? Um, what I'll do is if I, if it's a fast market and it won't get, you know, it, what I'll, well, what I'll sometimes do is I'll go 25, 30 cents, uh, 25, 30 cents. Well, no, we, I don't look at wheat stocks, but 20, like if it's a fast market and there's a daily chart that's, that's going really quickly, and if I really, really like the setup and it's a stock I trade a lot, um, I'll go 20, 25 cents above, above the offer if I'm trying to buy stock and I'm trying to sweep as much liquidity as possible. But uh, the majority of time, uh, the majority of time, um, the majority of time, I'll go at whole numbers. Um, the only time I'll put a buy stop or sell stop, the only time, the only time is if I'm doing something with my inventory and I just can't watch the setup. You know what I mean? Like I just can't watch the setup and it's a very thick liquid stock, like a Microsoft, an Amazon, an Apple, a Tesla, very rare with Tesla, like a Tesla I always watch. But like, you know, like those really thick names, then I'll put like a sell, then I'll put either a buy stop or a buy stop limit. Um, but I'll never, I'll never put a market, I'll, I'll never put a market order. Just because, just because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, but yeah, I, it's 90, I would say 90, 95% of the time I'll go to whole numbers. Round up or round down, yeah. Round up or round down, yeah. And the, and the stronger the chart is, the stronger the chart is, meaning the more um, the more measured potential, right? So if there's only like two three dollars, I'll I'll be faster taking profits because I know there's only a two three dollar potential. But if there's a twenty dollar potential, I'll get more aggressive on size and I'll start pairing out, you know, maybe every two three dollars versus every you know dollar or so. So um, yeah, that that's one of the one of the, one of the very few instances that I won't do. A limit order on a, on a whole number. If it's like a really fast market, or I'm just uh, I'm just occupied by other things, and it's a fast market, and I'll just put a you know I'll, I'll put a stop limit. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, no, no, no. If I get stuck in a trade, Nicholas. No, no. There's two ways how I get out of the trade, right? If a stock stalls out. Well, let me let me, let me start from the let me start from the from the positive aspect. If the stock is going in my direction, I'll just put in I'll just put in 
I'll put in offers. I'll put in offers uh, either right before the whole number or at the whole number um, or a combination of both. Um, always put out offers because I'm, I'm trying to get back the ECN rebate. Because if you're constantly hitting bids, taking offers, the ECN start the, they start getting a little costly. Um, but but um, if a stock stalls out, right? If a stock stalls out, and I know, hey, it's just not, it's not, it's not doing what it's supposed to go. It's supposed to do. I'll start hitting bids. Like I'll start hitting bids 20, 30 cents below, below the bid just to get out. Um, but I'll, I'll never put in, I'll, I'll never put in a, a market order. No. All right, Michael, have a great, have a great uh, weekend. Welcome aboard, by the way, Michael. Welcome aboard, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's all whole numbers. Yeah, it's all whole numbers. The only way, and, I, and, I, and I'll, try to, I'll try to take it on one shot. I'll try to take it on one shot. The only way, I very rarely add into a position, very, very rarely. The only time, the only time I'll really, I'll, I'll, I don't want to use the word chase an entry. I don't want to use that word. The only time I will go beyond the pivot if I got like filled like on like, you know, like 10% of my, you know, what I wanted or, you know, something to that degree. I just, you know, I just need more size in the trade. Um, but I'll, I'll try to get as much as I can on one shot. On one shot, I'll try to get as much as I can because the way the the way the pivots are set up, because they're 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 there to the point that that level needs to be aggressively attacked on that direction. Because if it holds, I know the trade is wrong and I have to get out. So I'm trying to get as much possible liquidity on that level. Um, so when the stock works, it's something you know, it's something that I'm you know that I'm I'm, I'm pleased with, and that's the biggest problem. Also, like a name like a docu, like I didn't take any docu, not because I didn't, I didn't like the trade. Uh, I didn't take any docu, I didn't take any Roku because there's no liquidity there. So even though, you know, the trades worked out pretty nicely and the pivots worked out very nicely, I can't control the trade like that. It's, it's almost like, the, it's almost like the, the Roach Motel theory. You could get in, but you can't get out, right? So if I'm wrong and there's a real old buyer at the bottom of the range, you know, they're gonna spread me out so aggressively I won't be able to get out. Um, so that's why I, try, I kind of, I now to this point in my career, I, I like 85% of the time, I'll avoid the docu, you know, I'll avoid the docu Roku, um, you know, that type of trade. Just and that, and even Netflix, even Netflix. I haven't, I haven't really traded Netflix a lot recently. Um, even Netflix, it's just, it's just not enough liquidity. Um, yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, start, Nicholas, start with three shares. Start with three shares. So when you scale out, you could scale out, you know, you could scale out a, th you know, a third at a time or start out with, or start out with four shares. You could start out, you know, depending how big the range is, you could scale out uh, one share at a time. Uh, the, the whole paper trading thing, it doesn't make any sense because you, you don't have any skin in the game. You don't have, you don't have any, you don't have any, uh, you don't, you don't have any emotional attachment to the trade. It's like you could, you could put on a Tesla trade and come back two hours later and go, oh, I knew it. See, I did great. I bought Tesla, you know, I shorted Tesla at 233. Now it's 227. We all know it didn't work like that, right? So you always want to have, yeah, you always want to have some skin in the game, for sure. You always definitely want to have some skin in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you definitely want to have some skin in the game. Yeah, th that's the only good thing. It's, it, you're, you're getting used to your platform, but you, you, you have to have skin in the game. Even if you take a $3, literally a $3 loss, like in other words, a slice of pizza loss, at least you, at least you're mentally have, you have skin in the game. That's very, very important. 